Sometime later. A classic Sierra cutaway. Oh, Adam, you did it. Because of you, we Allurians are ready to help ourselves. The new cleanup committee will keep the dangerous garbage from building up around the city, and the Flesh Eater Watch will sound the alarms whenever that horrible monster gets close. All right, it's all come together. And thanks to your little lesson, we know a lot more about the dangers of human garbage and how to avoid them. Just have you live here forever. You can't go home. I wish I could do more. I wish I could stop all this stuff from bothering you at all. Well, when you return to your world, just remember that feeling, and maybe you can help things get better someday. Try. For now, why don't you take this gold mask as a sign of our gratitude? All I don't right. need it Give anymore. This to the, Oracle. the citizens seem to actually listen to me as little old superfluous. The great senator is gone for good. Thanks, Superfluous. I mean, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> Man, you sure have been useless this whole game, Del. Illyria is safe for the moment. What do you mean? Well, the cleanup crews can't stop that horrid green ooze in the water, and Flesh Eater will keep haunting us. And then there's our food supply. Do I have to do everything? I have school, probably. I think we still have to find Cetus, Adam. Mm. Now that the city is okay for a while, I think it's time to go search for him. Still. How do we start? Remember, the Oracle wanted to see you again? Let's see what she has to say. Meanwhile, I could use the uh, trident again. The trident pushes in the satisfying. three eyes. I'm back and I got a token of trust in the form of this. Forgive me, I just came from water deep. I didn't even say anything. I got this sweet mask. Adam hands the gold mask to the oracle, holding his breath with anticipation. A sign of trust is given to me. A mask of gold for all to see. Poseidon's favor has been won by the child Adam, the chosen one. Here now is the prophecy. In the place where shadows creep, rest the poison of the deep. What came from man must now return, lest the kingdom die, the oceans burn. Held hostage is the king of peace. None shall be safe. Till he is released. Only love can face the one most vile to save us all a human child. How ironic. But how can I save the kingdom? Only fragments can I see, but let me tell them now to thee. Armor for a modern knight, from the depths of glowing light, a net of bones, a wall of stones. A floating orb, a silver wire, will help you in a place most dire. Here on parchment are the clues. May Poseidon watch all you. Adam takes a parchment scroll containing the prophecy from the oracle. Waterproof, I assume. That's water deep. To join Brigandia, Squatch, Lemayan, and Drank. Wow, a prophecy. And to think I didn't know if I should bring you, Adam. Let's get started on our quest outside the city. You sure look stupid now, Del. Can I finally go up? No? Okay, let's go up this way. Can I leave? Okay. <laughs> Getting worried. We haven't saved in a while again. 
All right. Come on, Adam. There's a reef south of the city. Let's head out and see what we can find. Sounds good, Dale. Let me just save. It's been a minute. I don't know if you do this beneath the, the waves, but above ground, on land, I mean above, above ocean. On land, yeah, we, uh, we were taught to save early and often. Haven't had too many more of those uh, weird Jesus glitches, or the one Jesus glitch. Haven't had any more of those since then, thankfully. This is it, Adam. We're on our own now. Right out here in the open sea. What an adventure, huh? Have expect to hear. You're not nervous, are you, Dolphinius? Who, me? Master of Control? Nervous? Master of Control? We've got the prophecy, and we've got our natural talent. So, hey, what the heck? Flesh Eater, beware, right? Natural talent. Right, let's explore. As a reminder of the disaster that created Illyria, a single soldier's helmet lies at the city's entrance. Bag it. The helmet is part of the ancient... <laughs> okay. I recycled all of I don't want to go ancient... through that kelp maze again, Adam. Besides, I don't think Cetus would have gone towards the open ocean. Okay, we go this way? A leisure suit Larry doll? A discarded doll rests on the sand here. Garbage can't talk. Even if it could, Adam... Adam doesn't want to play dolls. It's very clearly leisure suit Larry. The sodden doll goes into the garbage bag. Well, we're not going to talk about it. How many dolls wear leisure suits? That's the giveaway. Icky! Is that what I think it is? A flamingo? No, don't worry. It's just a statue. Actually, what we call lawn art. <laughs> Out in the ocean? Never know. The damselfish is startled by Adam's approach. She gives up looking at the other fish in the mirror and swims away. Squawk! Well, the flamingo would say that if it could. Adam puts the plastic flamingo in the garbage bag. The garbage can talks trash to Adam. Get that mirror! Adam picks up the old rearview mirror and puts it away. Probably gonna need that once we run into death. Hey, cool! There was a diver down here the other day using something like that to attract the fish. Ah. Nice to find somebody who wants to make friends rather than collect us. Or he's just pioneering a new fishing strategy. But I like your naive of understanding of the situation. Polka dot shorts are no longer in fashion, it seems. Polka dot. The and tasteless underwear goes into the garbage bag. Oh, another stuffed animal. This teddy bear got lost on the way to the picnic. It seems you can bear to put it in the trash. What? Adam puts the teddy bear into yeah, the... Good cool. job! Adam wins the Recycle Champ Award. Except for that time when he didn't cut that six-pack ring up. We're still disappointed in you, Adam. Wait, what's going on in that ear? Ooh, weird! Let me look at that! <laughs> what's in there? Why is its ear all flashing? Blow me away! It's a flashlight fish. Uh. He's one of those nocturnal types, so I don't know what he's doing there. We get a... Nocturnal? Yeah, comes out at night, lives down deep during the day. I wonder why he didn't go home. Something must have happened. I mean, a lot of stuff going on. Everyone's all kinds of traumatized down here. Can I get the flashlight fish? Adam doesn't want to scare the fish. Adam can't catch the year's occupant that way. Need a net or something. Just 
spirit, then we probably the light won't work. I don't know that I have anything to get the fish right now. Adam can't catch the ears. All right, we'll come back. I think there's more original themes in this game than any other Sierra game. Certainly a lot of them. Very impressed. More glowing dead fish litter the ocean floor here. Adam notices an increasing number of them to the east. The fish seem contaminated, even with his diving gloves on. Got here. Adam picks up the brightly colored fishing lure. Fishing lure. There we go. Could he use that on that other screen? Yuck! Soggy seats! I wouldn't sit on them if I were you. Some kind of underwater maintenance vehicle has broken down here. The fish and plants are slowly taking it over. A storage panel is just behind the sodden seats. Open this panel. See what we got. The heck? Huh. There's just no privacy on this reef. We're going back to the city. Gross me out. It's a mess in there. <laughs> Adam picks up the hammer, but it crumbles into rust. Dang. What's that behind it? Adam picks up the steel saw. Okay. Better than nothing, I suppose. That could come in handy. Dead fish all around that. It looks scary in there, Adam. Feel all that cold water? Like a dead spot? It looks... Hmm. Does look scary. When it looks that scary, I feel compelled to save. Oh, need the flashlight fish. Adam, I can't see where I'm going. Let's get out of here before we get hurt. Yeah. Yeah, I think we need the flashlight fish. We're gonna go through there. Cave diving has always made me nervous. My dad completely forbids it. Yeah, he'd be furious if he knew everything we were doing. I agree with and him. kind of proud. No way we should go in there without... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, back this way. And now we have the lure. We can get the uh, flashlight fish. Perhaps. That's a starlet coral. She thinks she's cool. <laughs> she thinks she's cool. A large shape is huddled in the lair, but Adam can't see it clearly. It's not a good idea to poke around in hiding places. Hmm. Guess that's fair. Maybe the light will fix all of our problems. This guy is always eating. I tell him, hey, slow down. 
Anemones are like goats. They'll eat anything. His stomach is like a big sack. He can only eat one thing at a time. If he can't digest it, he'll throw it up after a while. <laughs> Barfarama! <laughs> I know. That's why I don't eat dinner with anemones too often. Understandable. I just love it down here. It's what the ocean looked like before all the pollution. It is pretty. A pumpkin? That's just a sea urchin skeleton, Adam. Uh. The live ones are covered with spines, sort of porcupines of the sea. Their, sp their spines get under your skin and co- Oof. Careful! Adam can get a nasty infection if one of those sea urchin spines punctures his skin. Huh. Just something up here? I just love it. Kind of? We're going up or are we going? Oh, wow. No reaction to that. Just, well, let me get the water out of my... The pirate ghost has the job of guarding the treasure. Pirate ghost? The pirate chief made sure he wouldn't quit. What? Scratching your butt? I think I felt it give a little. Uh-huh. One more time. Adam feels creepy about touch. The pike snaps into pieces and the key goes flying into the water. Uh-oh. Dreaming of pirate treasure, Adam opens the... Without the key? Oh, a okay. A tiny blue crab has been napping in the chest. He scuttles away to find new shelter. So much for that. I guess he was napping. Not a good place for it. He was trapped. Is there anything else in there? The chest was empty except for the crab. Someone else has been here recently. Unless, of course, you believe in hundred-year-old crabs. Huh. The lid's stuck. Oh. Adam feels creep. Are you by any chance related to a guy <laughs> named LeChuck? No answer from the skeleton. Wasn't expecting a Monkey Island reference there. That's nice. All right, where'd that key go? There we go. What? Out of nowhere, a lurking fish darts forward. Come on, man. What is it with fish down here? They eat anything that falls in front of them. Hey, you give that back. He swallowed it. He swallowed it. I can't believe it. You guys eat anything. How can you not believe it? After him, Adam. What a pig. <laughs> How's that little fish out swimming? I mean, me, I get it, but Dell? I think you should be able to catch the up. The red fish streaks across the reef toward the east. <sighs> hey, give us that. Give us that key back. Give us the key. What? Psych! The red fish takes off again. Come on. What the? Hey, give us... Missing something here. Ready. Rats. Yeah, we lost. Where did he? Don't know, Adam, but I do know he's packing iron. Packing iron. Yeah. <laughs> what? 
Did you just eat that fish? Is the key in there? Summon enemies have a venom that stings humans. Even with gloves, Adam shouldn't touch it. Hmm. All right. Well, let's let's try to get the uh, flashlight fish out. It's our lure. Adam can't catch the year's occupant. So much for that notion. The brightly colored fishing lure has lost its hook and is now harmless. It still looks like dinner to fish, though. I, like, fix it to... What is this? Adam's carrying oh, one of the... spine. Yeah, that's not gonna... Why would... Why would... A Adam can't catch the... Hmm. in there. I just love it down here. Anything down? So that was a cave I didn't clock before. Nothing down. Peter, so missing something on one of these screens. be the net of bones in the oracle's prophecy yeah probably not much we can do about this get my hacksaw there's nothing adam can do ab there's nothing no. sorry little guy look dell that little lobster over there is still moving why that's persephone demeter's daughter so that's what happened to her can we do you think you could get her out adam i already know my flippers are useless against that drift net that hacksaw is much too dangerous to use anywhere near. <sighs> My trusty shell. There's nothing at. Don't worry. I'll get you out. Easy now. Don't early. pinch me. I like items we get more than one use out of. Persephone, you better go home now to your mother, Demeter. She's been worried sick. Good going, Adam. At least you have the thumbs for the job. Yeah, no voice acting for that poor creature, though. More glowing dead fish. The company failed to plug the borehole, so that oil is continuing to seep into the water. Messed up. Go down. Go around this. No. The idea is still. Do you have an aspirin, Adam? <laughs> I'm sorry, Delphinius. I don't. No, I don't. That's too bad, because I've got a terrible hat on. But a boom Phew, Delphinius, your jokes make me sick. <laughs> really? Say, you are beginning to look a little eel. 
Sierra and their puns. Ow, that one gave me an embolism. <laughs> Try going deeper. Adam, I no deeper. Guess we can't do anything. Adam, you have sonar. Can't you just like kind of like bounce it? All right, guess we just have to leave. Uh, even know what that key goes to. Can I agree with him. The lid of the toilet tank is jammed in place. Lid of the toilet tank. Yeah, we probably don't need to open the toilet tank. And we can't go down. Might as well try to see if we have anything to pry that open. That might damage the contents. So we do want something in there. Trident this up, get another use out of it. There you go. Adam places the trident under one corner of the tank lid and yanks. The lid pops off and falls to the sand. What is that? Adam pulls the toilet float from inside the tank. Uh, okay. What's this round thing? Oh, I know. It's called a float. Round. Let's see. What does that remind me of? It's the prophecy again. Oh, a floating yeah. orb. Not what I expected at all. Every plumber Even cares around trying for that. Even the Oracle has a sense of humor, I suppose. Nice. The broken valve is a... I don't know. Apparently the toilet float is. Who are we to say? It's not a good Hey, you're no amateur. Breaking the coal. Adam burrows into the soft sponges. Ah. From this comfortable hiding spot, he peers out at the octopus. Octopus? What? What octopus? Sorry, what? A large shape is huddled in the lair, but Adam can't see it clearly. Oh, there's an octopus in there. Okay, I, th I thought we needed some light on that or something. Um. I don't, can we poke it? Adam shouldn't use that on the creature in the lair. He knows more about it. Can we talk to it? I don't know what's in there, Adam. Don't talk louder until we find out. Uh, no idea. Want to see yourself? Yeah? Great idea! That'll smoke out anything that's hiding in there. An octopus comes charging out to fight the other octopus in the mirror. Nice. He's furious. They're such hermits. Whoops. The octopus sees Adam. A human. White with fear, he shoots a cloud of ink and flees. <laughs> uh, can we get some ink in our jar? Phew. 
too, just like skunks. <laughs> Actually, like octopi. That ink's supposed to be like a fake octopus to throw you off the track. Uh -huh. Adam can't use. Get some There's of the... no. Nope. Oh, it's gone already. All right, so we probably gotta like drop it to catch it ahead of time. Hopefully, it'll be back on the screen again. Now that I think I have some concept as to what I'm doing. Yep. All right, let's drop the jar here. What did I tell you? Octopi are really hung up. I doubt he'll touch it while you're watching. Better hide. Okay. This is where we hide. Do you need to hide? I guess dolphins are kind of normal. Adam burrows into the soft. Okay. Now we can throw the mirror out, I guess. Or is it just gonna... <laughs> the octopus thinks he's alone now. He sneaks a tentacle out and grabs hold of the jar. Can it open for me? It's definitely opening it. He thoroughly explores the jar. <laughs> Look at that! He untwisted the lid! Kind of the can opener of the sea. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so... He recedes back in his little cave. I don't know that all this was necessary just to get some ink. So now we'll show him the mirror and we'll get ourselves some octopus ink. Adam does his trick with the mirror again. The octopus peers into the mirror. Red with rage, he charges out to fight the other octopus. Fell for it twice. All right, is it in the jar? The octopus is good at lots of things. Adam picks up the open jar. Is it full of octopus ink? The clear glass jar is... What? All right. Like, were we not able to open it ourselves? The lid of the jar has all... Alright. Putting the jar down here would be useless right now. Putting the jar down here would... Putting the... Nope, that... Putting the jar down here would be useless right now. <sighs> Alright, maybe since we're holding it... Adam does his trick with... The octopus. Fool me three times. Come on, octopus. All right, did we get it that time? The octopus is good. God damn, what are you? What is going on with this jar? What is the proper order for this? comes back out. Adam is carrying a toilet. That's hardly a cl Putting the jar down here would be putting the jar Adam can't you Would it? Putting the jar down that won't help. That's an interest Your bark. Adam. 
Sam does his trick. The octopus peers. Do I have like a window to get out the jar right now? Get the jar, man. The octopus is good. The clear glass jar is now open. It's all right. I'm looking this up. This is stupid. All right. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Fishing lore. Use your mirror to lower away so you can grab the silver. Wait, silver wire? Uh, there's a wire on that screen? Is that all I was Adam trying to get? Down oh, I didn't even need the, the ink. Okay. Odd. A gleaming wire. I'm beginning to get an idea about what the oracle meant. Okay. Cool. Sure. Frame rate really drops on this screen. There's a lot of animations going on. So I guess we just need it the jar open so we can get this guy out of the ear. Okay. Adam senses some movement inside the ear. The flashlight fish darts into the jar and settles in the bottom. All right, that makes more sense. Wow, look at that glowing light. So now we Just got like an on demand Oracle light. Said. Adam carefully places the glowing jar in his backpack. Nice. Still need the key. Do we have anything out of all of our crap that can get this out? <laughs> Stab it. Give it a shot. The trident would not only puncture his vanity, it would also put some serious... Yeah, that's what I'm worried about right now. Um... What else we got? We got this. Can we attach these together? Why would Adam want to lure? And then Adam tug. Drop this down, maybe. The cable can't be. Oh, okay. Can we just use the lure on it. On its own. We haven't tried this yet. Adam moves the bright fishing lure in front of the anemone. It's a lot longer than I thought it would be. All right. <laughs> There's our key. Any you fish goes for it. I guess that'll show him to get grabby. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, and the game crashed. That's awesome. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.